The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, he deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation and he built a synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. For I too, am a person subject to authority. When soldiers subject it to me, and I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, said to the crowds following him, I tell you, not even in Israel, have I found such fate? When the messenger returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Amazing. Today, it's a beautiful day, and we honor today the most holy name of our Blessed Mother. Remember, it was a custom then, the Jewish had that custom, to name a child after eight days. And as we already celebrated her birthday a few days ago, today we celebrate her holy, precious name. So there is a beautiful prayer that I read this morning, St. Bernard wrote on this occasion. So much devotion we have for Blessed Virgin Mary our mediatrix, our intercessor. She has everything for us. And I pray the prayer of St. Bernard. Look to the star of the sea. Call upon Mary. In danger, in distress, in doubt, think of Mary. Call upon Mary. May her name never be far from your lips or far from your heart. If you follow her, you will not stray. If you pray to her, you will not despair. If you turn your thoughts to her, you will not err. If she holds you, you will not fall. If she protects you, you need not fear. If she is your guide, you will not tire. If she is gracious to you, you will surely reach your destination. What a powerful, beautiful prayer, which is Mother Mary said in everything she, did, she is for us. When we read the Gospel today, Gospel of Luke, and what does Centurion tell the person? Centurion felt unworthy to see Jesus, isn't it? He didn't want to encounter face to face. He knew the power of Jesus. He knew what Jesus could do, but yet he felt unworthy. Isn't that how we all feel sometimes unworthy? Who's unworthy anyway? None of us is worthy of anything. But yet Jesus, Jesus Christ himself to his death and resurrection, he made us worthy of him. He came to us no matter what, unworthy as we are. There used to be a preacher, and I like the way he said it. None of us deserve heaven, only through Christ. 
we are sinful human beings, but yet had hope and love of Christ in our lives. We are worthy of Christ, yes, we are. But our unworthiness, it is a point that sometimes we carry, we cannot let go. Letting go of our past, of our sins, whatever it is, and we become worthy. Somebody, somebody, somebody have to do the work of the Lord. Worthy or unworthy, you will do the work of the Lord. Worthy and unworthy, we still receive Christ on the Holy Eucharist. Hmm? Are we worthy to receive Christ every day? Well, what we do before, after the Lamb of God, as the centurion said, Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. Amazing, isn't it? And that comes from the scripture of St. Luke. The Pope there wrote it, no priest, no theologian wrote it. It came from the word of the person who felt unworthy, which is we feel sometimes unworthy. So again, my dear brothers and sisters, we thank the good Lord for his unconditional love that he has for us. He don't look upon our sin. He looks upon his own children. He loves us as we love our own children. The love that he has for us is uncomprehensible. Sometimes we even judge. How come this person, I wonder if God loves her. Whoa, that's bad if we say that. Because God loves everybody. It is up to us how we receive his love. It is about us how we do with his love. It is about us how we give that love back to others. And that's what Christ Jesus is all about. What is the translation of Jesus Christ? Love. Christ is a walking lover. Lover of all. If only we can understand that. If we feel unworthy, Jesus, just say the prayer of, his, of the centurion that we said every day at Mass before we receive communion. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen.